So when I was 10 years old, uh, I was in the public library and I was looking for a book to read. Uh, at the time, um, I, it was not unusual for me to, you know, check out five books and read it all in a day. In a day, I was a bookworm, and you know, and um, or a book butterfly because I used to study butterflies as a kid. And you know, one day uh, I was in the public library, and there there was a book that was shining. The back of the book was literally shining. Or so it appeared to me. And that book was the Japanese translation of Anne of Green Gables and by Lucy Maud Montgomery, a Canadian writer. And this juvenile novel literally fascinated me. It took uh, me in a really a wonderful literary storm. And, you know, I l loved the character, Anne Shirley, who was very imaginative and who was always looking for a scope for imagination and who would name a ordinary country road, uh, the white way of delight, and so on. So I was taken by Anne of Green Gables, and I went on to read all of Anne of Green Gables series, and uh, you know that was really wonderful. And it was a Japanese pro pro uh, translation by Muraoka Hanako, and she, Hanako Muraoka, and she she is widely regarded as the um, you know person who made. Uh, of Green Gables available to the Japanese audience. And, you know, uh, there was this really wonderful twist in my life. Um, you know, there was a dramatization of uh, Naoko uh, Muraoka's uh, life. And, you know, I was actually asked to play the role of uh, the uh, chairman of a publishing company who actually asked Hanako Muraoka to translate um, of Green Gables. And it, it was really a fun to, thing to do. It was broadcast on the Japanese uh, public broadcaster NHK, and you know, so I played the role of the uh, chairman of the publishing company, which asked uh, Hanako Muraoka to translate Aung Green Gables into Japanese. So <laughs> that was really fun. But anyway, so I read this, and when I was 15, you know, I started to learn English when I was 12, starting from This is a Pen and so on. And when I was uh, 15 years old, I read the work in English for the first, first, time, first time and went on to read all of our Green Gables series um, in English. So that was actually a really pivotal moment in my life, um, you know, reading my beloved juvenile novel in English in its native tongue. And I think I learned a lot about the beauty of the English language and The Charm of Prince Edward Island by reading the uh, entire Anne of Green Gables series in English. And you know, many waters flew uh, under the bridge since then. Uh, but, uh, you know, it suffice to say that uh, I actually went to Prince Edward Island twice. Uh, in in a journey, in journeys uh, where I searched for the something that w was resonant with the novel itself. But, you know, when I went to Prince Edward Island, I realized that, yes, uh, there were things that reminded me of the great literary work, but at the same time, you know, Prince Edward Island was beautiful in its own right, apart from Amorim Gables, and what I found was that uh, the entire world of this juvenile novel was uh, the product of the imagination of Lucy Maud Montgomery, right? So, you know, in a sense, our Green Gables was not there. It was all in the inspiration of Lucy Maud Montgomery. Of course, uh, it was um, Prince Edward Island that stimulated this great writer's imagination. But at the same time, Prince Edward Island and uh, Anne of Green Gables were separate, and I found myself loving each one of them uh, in different ways. So that was a really, really wonderful epiphany of my life.